Okay, let us start with the second practical that is to identify the inbuilt sensors of the mobile handset and test the performance. Now you have your phone in your hand. You can always test your phone according to the code given by the practical uh, you can by the company. Okay, now what will you handle over here? You will learn over here. You will ha how to learn handle the equipment carefully and to follow the safety practices. Okay, so this is your experiment number two, where you study the POs. That is to discipline knowledge, experiments and practice, engineering tools, individual teamwork. Then you have your course outcome to troubleshoot mobile handset. And what you will be the you will be able to identify your different sensors in the handset. So various sensors are there in your handset. Now even the phone which you are using now will have different sensors. The common sensors are normally accelerometer, proximity sensor. barometer light sensor gyroscope magnetic sensor heart rate monitoring and fingerprint sensors and now what is this accelerometer basically it is used to detect the orientation of the screen then proximity sensors now you know when you pick your phone and you keep your phone the screen automatically turn off and on so that is with the help of the proximity sensor then you have gps in your in your phone that is where it uses the barometer sensor And then you have a light sensor which detects the ambient light then you have gyroscope which measures the device rotation and it works alongside the accelerometer then you have a magnetic sensor which gives orientation with relation to the earth magnetic field then you have heart rate monitoring which is used to monitor the heart rates and also this is the fingerprint sensors which nowadays all the phones have to use to unlock and lock the screen also to identify the touch so what instruments you require you require a mobile handset so here in the manual you have they have given motorola mobile handset but any handset can be used so if you have a samsung phone you can use the code as star hash g0 star hash so if you press this you will get a screen i will give you a demo of that also so they have given the procedure for the mobile handset with the having motorola as the company they have moto help as the app where you can test the hardware okay for samsung you have different codes for motorola you have different code redmi htc apple each phone have each manufacturer have their own codes to test the sensors so i can give you the demo of samsung phone so did you understand the procedures so this will be the okay so in this way we can start now my my handset is of samsung company okay the manufacturer of my handset is samsung so i will be pressing star hash 0 star hash like this the screen appears so you have red green blue black receiver sensor vibrational you have the these are the different parameters in my phone so this is the sensor parameter so see you can see different sensors in my phone you can see the accelerometer sensor virtual proximity sensing sensing you have gyroscope sensor you have magnetic sensor and it is saying that it, it is there is a need for testing so when you test the test has been passed fingerprint test let us go for that normal scan see the test has been passed you can get different information of the sensor also see this is the sensor information of my fingerprint tester that the product is et523 module test is pass it has passed the test uh you can go for the gyroscope sensor we will see the display see it is giving you the different values as i'm moving my phone different rotational values are coming so once again there is accelerometer sensor virtual proximity sensing gyroscope sensor magnetic sensor fingerprint sensor okay so in this way you can test your 
मोबाईल हँडसेट